three. Uh, I am Eric, and I'm joined here with JC by JC and oh. Sam, and hey. we're going to show you maybe the craziest game we've shown so far, uh, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix. So JC, please. Yes. Uh, personally, this is one of my favorite series of franchises uh, of all time. I'm a huge, huge uh, Rhythm Heaven fan. And for those people that don't know um, how the game works, uh, let me show you how it goes. You want to go ahead and in? hop into uh, the first right. one? Let's do I space will say ball. I love playing this game, but uh, a busy con floor is not the ideal location to right. play a timing-sensitive rhythm game. So mm -hmm. let's see how it goes. I apologize in advance if I crash and burn. Nah, go ahead. So what I'm going to do is goes. I'll talk. <laughs> you can play. You can focus all on right. that. Long story short, it's a collection of these really interesting little uh, rhythm games. And in each of the rhythm games, there's like this little puzzle that's presented to the player. In this particular case, you see it says, hey, give that ball a good whack or whack. It says, when the ball gets to the right heights, make it hard. Great. One, so, let you listen. Tap your foot if you need to. Ooh, that music. Go on. Uh. There you go. So as soon as the ball hits her waist, you have the, you have the A button. That's right zone. Boom. Yeah, it's boom, and you have to be really precise with it. So there's no guessing here. It really is like a perfect science. Um, one, two, three, one more time. Four. And they do oh. a little bit. That's okay. So I shall notice with some of them. So what's going on, on the top screen is the action where you should be there. But how would you know if you're actually late or not? The way you know is if you take a look at the bottom screen, and you'll see where these little splashes lie, and it indicates whether you were, if it's to the left, you were early. If it's right in the middle, you're right in time. And if it's on the right, you're a little bit late. I forgot to ask, for, yeah, for yeah. demonstration purposes, do you want me to fail here, or do you want me to just kind of play? You know what? Go for it. Just go ahead and you play right. it. Play straight Let's up. Let's see how it goes. Give me your best. Right, so oh. those stars that appear on the bottom screen, they, the position uh, shows you if you're late or early, but yes. also if you get it right in the middle, the stars will be this rainbow swirly pattern. Yep, that means you're like spot on. Right, it's like a perfect, perfect timing. Okay, so the trick is for Sam, she's focusing on the music. I don't want to take her away from that. No matter what happens, keep going. They'll train you with the rules and you just go. So go ahead and listen to it. I'll just sit back and groove. So they're gonna start distracting her with no, the. No, don't. No, don't. That's mean. I know where no, you I work. Said, I, I didn't say us. <laughs> no, <laughs> I said we're gonna start distracting. Oh, the game will start distracting her. Oh, you yeah. guys. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. Yes, the game will automatically do these things. You just have to keep going. Don't look at the alien. Nice. Nice. So she got oh. that special star. Yes, that's a skill star. I'll show you where that comes into play. Ooh, they're removing. Oh, what? Keep going. So at this nice. point, like it's so far zoomed out that you kind of have to use the rhythm. I yes. mean, you're not using that. You, sometimes you have visual indicators, but this throws you off your game and, and tries to mess you up. I also love how the head changes every like, every time the camera's on. Oh. oh, oh, nice! That was the last one. Well done, Sam. That was that was good. <laughs> that was really no good. No that was really good. Whatsoever. And so, what's huh. interesting about this whole thing is, you know, that you know. Going through these games, each different rhythm game is a different puzzle. Hey, so nice. real quick here, so they gave you a score at the end. You have to pass a certain threshold, and then they gave you like a superb or like a high score. And at the bottom, it even shows you like these little coins. And don't worry, I'll show you who that guy at the bottom. So real quick, before we move on, go ahead and look at the bottom. So that guy, his name is Tibby. Uh, real quick touch point, uh, we're going to go to first contact. Oh, sure, yeah, so it. that's cool. So real quick about Tibby. All right. Yeah, putting back up, I think it's like three or four. Down here, right? Skin? Yeah. Keep going. There so there's all these little like you know rhythm games to play, and uh, there we go. the whole all story right. behind there this is actually the first one with the story. So really quickly, Tibby is this little dude with like this pink afro, and then by the way, please fail this tutorial, please. Okay. Okay. I, I will so, do terribly for thank you. Our, our viewers' benefit. Ready and tank. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so Tibby is trying to get back to Rhythm World, and in order to get back there, you need to help him complete these kind of uh, you know rhythm games and uh, press these buttons and kind of do all these things for him, so he can kind of generate enough energy to get back to Rhythm World. So, it's so a loose... first, I'm going to fail the tutorial. Yeah, go ahead and fail it. Yeah, yeah. just fail it straight up. So way this game works, <laughs> uh, so the way this game works is actually you repeat after it. So that 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 that. It's wait that. Dot, dot, dot. So now, notice how on the bottom screen it has this grid. So for people that are kind of new to the franchise, or if you're kind of wondering, where am I supposed to hit? I need some kind of visual indicator when. Um, the game will actually pull Love this up face. for you. <laughs> yeah, they'll pull it up for you, and you can see where, like, yeah, see which ones you get and which ones you missed. Okay. <laughs> the alien is just like, no! <laughs> 
personally, though, I will have a disclaimer. I like failing things on purpose. Like I get it mostly wrong, yeah. like right. But this one in particular, I re I love failing because of what so he funny. says. Yeah. Because so basically, you are an astronaut who's translating this alien language for the people of Earth mm -hmm. or for Rhythm World, and. Uh, when you mess it up, he basically just borks the translation, which is hilarious. Nope, yep. it's a good translation. Very nice. Nice. And the music is just so infectious in this game. Yeah, I'll talk kind of quietly underneath this. Um, so, if you guys can kind of hear the music, yeah, you're bobbing your head, that's good. Um, it's actually really catchy because one of the guys that helped create this music, his name is Tsunku. And uh, Tsunku is a really popular a uh, really popular music producer in Japan. And he helped craft all these tunes, so they're, they're crafted to be really catchy. But if you're listening to it, there's always clues. <laughs> it's all those people looking around like, yep. Oh, there we go. Nice. I'm like, sorry, I'm just grooving with it right now. Oh, that was clean, and everyone's nice. like, whoa! I love the art style in this game. Like, there's so many just really cute, fun characters. Mm -hmm. uh, love, the loading guy's adorable. Yeah, as you go through kind of each of the you know different rhythm games, you'll start to notice oh, that there I is like this kind of aesthetic that ties everything together. And you nailed that too. That was really good. I feel like I'm setting myself up for a terrible fall. <laughs> no, no, you're you're doing great. You keep that up. Six what points. So she got the skill star and a no miss bonus, so she got two extra coins. Here. Correct. And I'll even go into what we can spend those coins on a little bit later on. So um, let's do um, ooh tongue lashing. I think it's the next one up. Yeah, oh, on the right, right tongue. All right. Oh, this is so good. Okay. So. Um, what were you talking about? You mentioned, let me see, I mentioned Sunku, mentioned... Oh, right, the art style. So the art style, uh, Ko Takeuchi, um, one of the guys that I'm really, you know, almost like a little WarioWare-ish. Mm. Um, it's very, you know, it's got this little quirky feel to things, but uh, I'm, yeah, it's super, super cute. And you'll start to meet all kinds of really weird characters, and they're, they're really cute, and they're just really, like, awesome. And I have my favorites, <laughs> but I'm sure you'll find your own. All right, so here we go. So the game in this one, uh, as you can kind of tell, is just trying to make sure that she presses the A button right on the button where the yellow stuff is at. Exactly. If it's across his left faces, side. They're actually really cute. Yeah, when his eyes spin, <laughs> like he's like, and his eyes go. Burp. It's actually really tempting to mess up because the animation on the characters <laughs> when you do something wrong is really fun. Sometimes they're just like annoyed at you, and they're just like, "What did you do? Come on!" You should like uh, for this one. I like missing the very last note in this one. <laughs> like, See, I'm, I might be able to indulge you. Okay, so the red one's different. So as soon as you hear the sound, one, two, three. So it's on four once you hear that. See? Perfect science. You guys, have, uh, you guys got that at home? Okay, so you can follow along. I'll kind of back off and let, uh, let Sam groove it. I had an extra coffee actually just before this segment, just for you, Jason. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Funny is like me and Eric are like noticeably tapping and bumping. It's just like man, that bass. <laughs> Silly grin, like. Oh, don't wait. this foot. <laughs> it's just like this foot. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Sam. Oh my goodness. 
Man, you are rocking it, man. I wouldn't even like. <laughs> can't touch that, man. That's well, so that's good. The thing. So you hit all of them, but you got a no miss bonus, but you still only got 89 because your timing wasn't 100% perfect on all of them. So there's right. so much depth. Like, you can play this, you know, for hours just to try to perfect it. Yep. And, oh, man. Yeah. You got a nail, like, right in the center there, and it's Absolutely. really hard. Yeah. And it's super, super tight. That window's real it tiny. Is. So, uh, yeah, let's this do one. Um, ooh, Lumberjack. Oh, like cats? Uh, let me find it. <laughs> there it there is. There they are. All right. Oh, you're going to love this one, guys. So, uh, you know, for people that know the Rhythm Heaven series, or this is your first time watching it, um, you know, this particular game, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix, is really a mix of, like, there are these, you know, the Game Boy Advance games that never made it to the U.S. They put them in here. There's brand new rhythm games uh, that are, you know, that are, that are in this for the first time. And then there's also some returning favorites from kind of throughout the, the DS game and the Wii game for people that know that one. And some of them even have, like, different music. So, I mean, this is really, I mean, there's no better time to jump into Rhythm Heaven than, you know, whenever this comes out. So, uh, at that point, you know, if you haven't tried it, man, like, you're missing out because this is, oh, practicing over there. So, real quick, so while she's focusing, of course, you, you know, the log gets put down in front of this bear and you just kind of swing. So you swing once for small logs, twice in a row for big logs. There you go. I gotta say, this dude's suspenders are boss. Suspenders are awesome. It's just a sassy looking axe chopping bear. That's right. Good. He's very svelte for a bear. He's, he's in shape. He is. I mean, dude, if you're chopping wood all day, you'd be svelte too. True. You'd be totally hooked out. No matter what, keep going. That's always the rule in rhythm heaven. No matter what, just keep going. Nice. So in the only indication, there, in the music, there's no indication that a big log is coming. Nope. Well, you basically, it's the visual indication. And obviously it makes a different sound because you're, you're hit it twice. But. Correct. So some games actually give you a, a, a different audio indicator like that. When you put the can down, it, moves, it made a different sound. Right. If it was a larger thing, um, it was only visual. Other games will actually, you know, go and do it. Now. Oh, man. So. Not distracting at all. Are you ready? <laughs> Neil Gaff, listen up. Check, uh, check this out, man. <laughs> uh, I'm being told that uh, we're launching Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix right now. So if you want to go and play this thing, this game is live. This game is live right now. I'm totally downloading this uh, back at home, and uh, or back at back at my uh, back at my hotel room because I need this on the plane right in the back. <laughs> but uh, you know, so nice. Uh, there, actually, uh, the okay. one other thing: if you're if this is your first time playing, you get know, Rhythm there. Heaven, or if you just want to get into it and you can't even like, you know. If you just, I don't know if I want to try it out, we could do this. There's a, there's a demo that goes live also. So download the free demo, you can give some a shot, and uh, it's going to be awesome too. <laughs> this is a running theme, I think, for Treehouse Live this year, fire. But you know fire. what, you're right. The glories of having warm fire. I'm asking a Chico. It's comforting. <laughs> uh, where do you want to oh, go next? Yeah, um, how about Sumo? Sumo, let's do mm -hmm. Sumo. Um, I think that's in the Lush Tower, which oh, is at the very gap where we had that. Yeah, it's at the kid. Fourth from, the, fourth from the bottom? Lush Tower? Yeah, I think that's it. I think so? Okay. Yeah, so they get the second it. from the top. There, there they are. Called All it. right. Two more brothers. Oh, you're going to like this one, too. I do okay on this. Can we visit the goat next, maybe? Yeah, you want to. Yes, I do. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. All right. All right. So the cue here is a little bit different. Um, there's... There's different patterns for this one. So the first pattern is, uh, you're gonna see it here. So once the dog gives us, you know, the four counts, you just have to keep pressing the A button in time, you know, with the tempo. It's nice to give you a chance to kind of sync up to the rhythm too, because I was definitely early there and I could gradually adjust to get closer to the right timing. Oh yeah, and you gotta watch the dog for this part. That's right, always, always listen to watch the dog. He'll give you all your cues for this. But it's how it was slower. And look so. how he bounces. <laughs> well, you are kind of stomping like, you know, 600 pounds of man just in front of that dog, so. I love how <laughs> the blue sumo wrestler has glasses, too. You'd think you just get contacts. You know, it's, it's still kind of a rough sport. Probably. But, but maybe he knows that he's just slapping and not actually trying to push the other guy out, right? So I guess. Like, There's no face contact here. And this space between notes. So now, wait. It's a full four counts. Boom. Oh, oh almost. Wait. 
There we go. Nice. <laughs> I love the expression on that first super wrestler when you get wrong. Yeah, in the like, front, oh. his eyes get all big like, eh, we're supposed Would to you? pose. <laughs> all right. Real deal. We're doing this for real. All right. Actually, I really like the music in this one, too. I remember it being really catchy. There's, if you listen, there's some, some dude singing in the back, too. And I love how the actions you take become part of the music. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Yep. You have slaps. basically their their stomps are kind of like the bass drum, and then you have the slaps. It's kind of like a snare. And it's all written into the music too. Like you know, it's going to change here. Right. And you know what changes? Here. And here. Nice. Ugh. Nice. I can't wait for you guys to play this, man. Yeah! <laughs> Look at the camera like, you see us slamming? You see us slamming? <laughs> <laughs> I want to toss glasses in there too. Glass toss. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Just a couple there though. That was. Quick slaps. It's fine. Oh yeah, 91. Dude, that's killing it, man. Look you're, at that. You're, you're like so score. good at this you're game. You're it, man. This is like. <laughs> you're on a roll here. I kind of know when I mess up your flow. Don't jinx have... me, man. No, no, you're you're doing good. Positive energy. You got this. All right, let's. Uh, so what do you think next? Are you up for a remix? I could, yeah. Okay. Should we just go first or do the remix first? We gotta see that goat. Wanna get to the goat? Let's go to the goat. Let's go to the goat. Let's go to the goat. Fabulous. I don't wanna miss so it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna back out to the cafe. And in the cafe there's a lot of things you can do. So one of them is here, you taught the barista. Love him. Yeah. Um, but you can also feed this goat. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pick some turnips and we're gonna feed this goat. So uh, fast, and those sassy. turnips are going to replenish yeah. over time as you play. Yes, you just keep playing. Uh, you eventually get turnips, Perfect. but you can also go. Technically, you could also kind of pay for turnips with your coins. So uh, yeah, let's do that. So go ahead and hit left. Ready? Yep. It's feeding the goat time. Gonna okay. All right. So to, we're going to feed this goat. Don't ask. We're just going to feed this goat. That's what you do. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to feed turnips for the goat. We're going to kind of slingshot, like almost like a, like, a, like a mini pinball machine. Nice toss. That's a good one. Ooh. Uh, Try to uh, aim for that goat. Yes. yes! Very nice. Look so at that. Happy. And then the pattern is going to change, so you're going to have to switch up your strategy oh. a little bit. Yeah, so sometimes like the, the little kind of the nubs will actually change where they are, so you have to kind of figure there out where that is. The goat may actually move to a different position, so you may have to figure out where, you know, Ooh, what the uh, appropriate amount of time, or like, you know, how long to charge your shot before you let it go. And, uh, nice. Ooh, you're doing pretty good. Okay. Let's go. Uh, you know what uh, you think you can care about this? Hit, um, Hit right. Hit right on your, um, yeah. Can I pick a different kind? Yeah, pick a, do we have any more? I don't think I do. Try no. doing those. Try, yeah. yeah, use some points, spend some yes. points. All right. We're gonna spend some coins and we're gonna actually do some expensive turnips here. And they're alternating these green and silver turnips. And oh, I'm gonna okay. try and get it, but if you can, it's fine. Just know that when he hits, uh, you see the goat on the top screen on the right side, you'll see the kind of bar that goes up. Uh, when that bar reaches to level 10, so you can kill up obviously past level eight, it gets level nine. And if you get to level 10, you actually can unlock these really interesting little like loading icons. So as the game is loading, you can, you know, if you unlock one of those little like icons just in the right bottom right corner, and it could be of characters, could be of other random stuff. And so again, a lot of fun. As, when I leveled up, the board changed too, so now I have to kind of revisit my strategy. Ooh, this right. is a gold Whoa, walk around. Turn up. Too. This is it. This is it. Goat fever time. Oh. Oh. Okay. So sorry. I wanted it's to see okay. Goat Fever. That's goat right. Fever? Well, it's available now, so people can go see Goat Fever by goat, themselves. Yeah, Goat, goat Fever. We're going to get it eventually. I think. Should I keep going or do you want to head out? Um, let's head I'll out. I'll feed this goat as long yeah, as you want. Yeah, you can feed the goat we're done. <laughs> you can keep feeding oh, the goat. He's kind of just taking a nap. He's, he's kind of he's he's happy now. He's all happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's jump, to a, let's jump to a remix. Let's do, you want to do Citrus? Citrus? You yeah. Got it. All right. We don't have a lot of time left, but we might I be able don't. to get that. Oh, man. So this may be I'll probably... I really think we're almost out, so let's go ahead and finish the remix. Long story short, these remixes, um, you know, these remixes kind of combine all of these different kind of games that you learn along the way, and they put them in rapid fire succession, so you have to kind of, don't worry, you'll know them all before going in. You just have to kind of figure it out, roll with it, and keep going. Right, so these are all mini games from other, uh, or not mini games, what are we calling them? Rhythm, it's awesome. Rhythm games. Rhythm games, yeah. From, uh, from other parts of the game, but they match them all together under this orange theme. So they all have this orange theme that they wouldn't otherwise. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. Oh, you remember this? <laughs> oh, that's a tough transition. Nice. Ooh. Take out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, just little nice. blowing bubbles in her soda. And that's it, man. That's that's remixes, a ton of different music games yeah. and rhythm games, dude. It is, it's and it's really out fun. now. Oh, out man. right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right, nice job, Sam. Yeah. Way to rock it. Absolutely. <laughs> that's really good. And that is a wrap. I think for, that's uh, it for that's this. Gonna... But, but we're gonna come back in just a second and awesome. uh, say goodbye because. You know, it's time. Parting is such sweet sorrow, and it's time to do so. But we've had a lot of fun, so we'll be right back.